What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making bacon. That's right, bacon. Everybody loves bacon. I love bacon. I don't know anybody who does not love bacon, and uh, but not everybody's an expert, and I'm not one either. So I went on a little bit of a research um, thing, and I, I said, you know what? Let me let me try to figure out all the different cuts and the flavors and this and that, and see which one actually works out the best for me and maybe for you. So let's get right into the ingredients. So we're gonna start off, we've got the original, and these are all, all from Hormel. And they're black label, so they're like, they have the fancy labeling. There you go. The thick cut is the second one. So original thick cut. Then we have our applewood. Applewood smoked flavor. Making bacon, there you go. Maple bacon, actually. <laughs> so maple's the next one. And then finally, we have our center cut. There you go, center cut. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cook two slices for each type, and we're gonna see how long they take to cook, which ones get crispier, which ones are don't, you know, don't get crispy, flavors, texture, which ones we like the best. So that's kind of what we're gonna do, and we'll give you that information, and then you can do whatever you want with it, <laughs> because, Everybody loves bacon, so I'm sure none of these are gonna be bad. It's just a matter of different preferences and flavors and textures, and I'm looking forward to it. So everybody, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Everybody, let's get cooking. Okay, so I've got two strips of bacon per type. Starting over here, we got original we have the thick cut, we have the applewood smoked thick cut, we have the maple, and we have the center cut. All right, so one thing that I learned while I was going through this whole process is to put them on the griddle top or cooking surface with the surface not hot. And obviously this is cold, so that needs to be cold. And start it that way, they cook evenly, yada, yada, yada. We're gonna try it. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we'll get, we'll see. So look, I can touch this, no problem. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put these down, like so, spread them out. Two at a time, original right here. I was careful to try not to stretch them. Give them some room apart from each other. Let me move this over here and continue this way. And obviously I can move them around a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep them in the same configuration. Let me tell you, these little center ones, they are kind of super, super thin. So there's not really much I can do with those uh, other than that, so. Okay, so now we're gonna crank it up. Here we go. And we're gonna put this on like a medium heat, medium to medium low. Because you don't wanna burn the bacon, obviously. You wanna cook it nice and evenly. It's gonna take a little time. There's no rush. And I'm curious to see, like, do some of them cook quicker than others? I have no idea. We're gonna find out together. Okay, we are three minutes in. They are all sizzling. I can smell that maple bacon and definitely the applewood. I can smell those two. They both smell really good. So we're gonna give it a quick flip here. That's the regular, here's the thick. This is the applewood. In the middle, it's going to get done a little bit quicker because the, you know, let me turn down the middle a little bit. This is the uh, maple here. And then here's the center cut, which is the smallest piece. And so from what I've learned by researching this, the center cut, the ends are cut off, obviously center cut, so it has less fat. It doesn't have the fat that the other ones do, so it's like 25% less fat. So it's actually better for you than the regular bacon, but it has the same 
centerpiece. So something I learned. Okay, so we're about six minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn her again. You can see we're getting some color here on the original. I don't really use a bacon press, never have. I continually flip them because that's just me. I know most people don't do that, but. And normally I would be moving these like to the outside, but I'm trying to keep it consistent. If it gets done sooner, then I'll just take it off um, and, and try to keep track of it. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely see the center cuts are getting done a little quicker down here on the end here. Let me turn that down just a tad. Um, which is pretty interesting actually. All right, so I'm at the point now where I'm gonna flip these more frequently. I do not like burnt bacon. I like them evenly cooked. And at this point, it's getting harder for me to tell which one's which because they're starting to cook and look similar. Um, but I have them in my head and I'm sure I have them documented somewhere. All right, so this one's definitely getting to the end here. I'm gonna try to cook them all to the same doneness. Kind of like um, not too crispy, not too chewy, kind of in the middle. Which these two in the middle here look like they are almost done. So I'll keep the two, which are the applewood smoke, I'll keep those in the middle. Sorry. The emergency helicopter just flew overhead. I live close to an air, but what can I tell you? So yeah, these are looking really almost done here. They're right in the middle of the griddle, so they have the hot spot, even though I turned it like all the way down. It just seems to cook quicker there. These two are looking pretty done as well. These are taking their sweet time because they're the thick cut. The maple's looking good. I'm surprised. <laughs> I didn't really think they would. And the center cuts are getting very small. Look at that. <laughs> very, very small. Okay, I'm at the point now where I'm gonna cut the heat and I'm going to finish these up and put them on a paper towel just to drain them from the oil a little bit and get them off of here so they don't burn. And then we'll, uh, we'll do a little taste test. All right, here we go. <laughs> we have our bacon experiment done. And of course, a plane is flying by right now. But those are the bacon pieces from this side. I don't know what side that is. That's original. Next to that is the thick cut. Next to that is the applewood thick cut. Next to that is the maple. And then finally over on this side is the center cut. So one at a time, <laughs> we're gonna try these. I'm gonna try these. Hey, I may eat them all, but I'm gonna eat one bite at a time. We'll try this one first, the original. Very crispy, but not too well done. This is the original. How do you go wrong with the original? I don't know. So, let me give that a second to go in. Let me try the thick cut. Definitely chewier. Hang on. Really, dude? Another helicopter. So this is the one I really want to try. This one was smelling really well. This is the Applewood Thick Cut. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. That one is really good. And then the maple held up really well as well. Um, Not as crispy, but you can taste that maple sweet taste. Mmm, that's good though. Uh, let me try the other side. Mmm. The other side's crunchy, but it's not really 
that nice gentle crisp. It's more hard. So I like the taste, but I don't like the texture. And then finally, the center cut. 25% less fat. Shell taste. It's kind of the same thing. Without the sweet. A little harder texture. Not like this, man. The original. <laughs> I'm going with the original. This is the original. You can see the fat to meat ratio. It's got a lot of fat and that crisp on that fat is just what makes the difference. You compare it to any of these other ones, it just doesn't have it. So I think the original is the one, that's my favorite. The original is my favorite, can you believe it? <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought for sure I was gonna pick another one, but that's the one it is, that's what I'm going with. So everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out. That was good. It's the original, man, all day long. The OG, that's the one you want. Mmm.